Welcome Battle Brothers, I am the Epic Narrator and welcome back to Molestad where we're attempting to liberate the planet from these pesky greenskins and warboss scroll. This is Final Liberation, perhaps the best 40k game ever made. There we go, I said it. Right, if you haven't seen parts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc, go and check out those links here. Obligatory YouTube shill, remember to like, remember to subscribe. Re liking the video really does help the channel, subscribing even better. And if you really do want to support me, check me out on Patreon. And guess what? I'll even paint up a model for you, potentially, if you check me out on Patreon. Can't say fairer than that. Anyway, back to the battle. Um, last game, we were hit by a counterattack. We got a bloody nose from Warboss Scroll. Our talons took a beating. We lost some Lehman Russes, we lost some Chimeras, and we also lost Talon infantry troops as well. Uh, last turn we repaired Lehman Russes, however we're left with just three resources now and I am considering whether to attack or not in the same turn. Now I'm going to attack this time with the Mordians and I'm going to push into the Tulia region which is here. So we've got the two armies, here are the Talons and here are the Mordians. Let's just get stuck in. The Mordians need to see some action as well. So hopefully... Oh crap, I didn't even save the game last time. So. <laughs> Danger. Um, okay, so what have we got here? So we've got a large battlefield. So we've got our first objective here, we've got our second objective here. This one, we are probably not going to make it to. However, this one, we can, I believe. Um, we are going to be, so like I said, this is a big battlefield, so we're going to be wanting to throw our troops into, into these Chimeras. So we want the heavies actually it doesn't really matter too much we really want the tacticals in these in these first chimeras so like I said I'm just loading up commissar always goes first commissar. yes get in your rhino so yeah so this is back in the days when Imperial Guard could have Could have rhinos now. We'll have the first turn. Um, these fud guns are going to be next to useless. Um, I'll try putting them on the higher ground, see if they can see anything. But chances of them being able to see anything and do anything, uh, actually, no, I'm going to put them here maybe. See if they can kind of shoot into this area and maybe shoot the buildings. Um, the FUD guns are again next to useless and I think I will leave the bombards where they are. So let's go. Right, what do we have? Okay, excellent. So already straight... Okay, so these are a worry right here. Uh, oh, those war bikes! Okay, so we're going to need to be careful of these guys. Now already I'm going to start I was going to start shelling these ruins, but actually, no. We want to try and take out some of these uh, gut busters. Yes! First casualties to the orcs. So that's a good start. Now we're just going to fly the right. Oh, yeah, okay, no, we're not going to fly the right down there. We're going to take out as many of those. I think they're gut busters. Gob smasher. Take out as many of these gob smashes as we can. Oh, it's a shot, man! Accidental death. Um, however, I don't believe that these would come in units of four, so that suggests that there will be more of them hiding. Yeah? Which is a bit of a worry, but that was a good, good shot. Okay, so we accidentally hit the ruins there. Uh, I'm actually going to save this game. Uh, Mordian attack. Right. Ok. 
because I forgot to save it after the last battle. Okay, so the FUD guns are going to be able to see nothing. Oh, they can actually. I am surprised. Okay, so the FUD guns are hugely inaccurate and pretty much don't do any damage, so the chances of this doing anything are uh, slim and far between. And unbelievably, it looks like the FUD guns are actually going to be taking some fire. I am quite surprised. So the fuck guns, again, they've got pretty much zero chance of getting through the uh, gob smasher armor there, so that's why I'm concentrating on the, the orcs here. No surprise, so this is the fifth fud gun. Is he going to hit and is he going to do anything? Oh, he did actually kill two people. Well done. Okay, Commissar first. So we can get up to here. Now I'm just gonna dump dump the troops out straight away. So yeah, like I said, so navigating the map is the most difficult thing. Okay, so the chimeras can get to here. Now, do I risk keeping the Chimeras fully loaded? Because, you know what, I think I will unload the front ones. I'll unload these front guys. And keep the troops. Oh dear. Since so navigation is. If I zoom out a bit, it will be a bit easier. So, yeah, I'm actually going to keep the troops in these. Hopefully, they don't come under any fire, and then we're going to move them up next turn. This is a risky move. Come us up. Let's go. So the FUD guns are taking fire for the first time in their life. Although they're apparently veteran troops. Oh no. There goes the rhino. But. But. Oh dear, look at all those gob smashers and scorchers. So the, we really do need to get those troops out of out of those um, chimeras ASAP and the war bikes. Yes, good shot. So those war bikes are going to be coming in soon. Um, right, this is not looking good, chaps. This is not looking good. Right, immediately get out. Zoom in a bit better. A bit more cinematic for you guys, right? guys in and get them out with their heavy weapons. Right, unload. I've got to move back a little bit. Face the enemy. It's a good idea. Okay, so the idea is that we're going to take and hold this objective. Okay, that was lucky. As if you know, if if those orcs had destroyed 
destroyed that Chimera, it would have taken out those two units inside as well, which is not ideal, right? So, again, it's risky to move them up. They're a little bit bunched up here, but I don't think that these evil sons will have any artillery. <laughs> Commissar. Let's get those okay, so can the can the commissa see or shoot anyone? No surprise, no he can't. So we get him in there. Commissar's a bit of a waste, really. Uh, okay, we've got a lot. We've got a lot of very dangerous stuff here. These war bikes are dangerous. Um, these are particularly dangerous. I think we're going to go for. Well, we've got three war bikes here, but these are the more dangerous. I think so. We're going to go try and get that guy, and if we miss, hopefully we can maybe hit that scorcher or something instead. Now, when I was a kid, what I used to do is I used to save every shot with the artillery. So that was there was a hit, but it bounced off the armor, so again this is gonna be potential trouble. Right, so it's a Mordian tactical squad, so they've got zero chance pretty much zero chance of getting through the armor of pretty much zero chance of getting through the armor of these vehicles but as we saw earlier they can take out war bikes so good shot so that's taken so we've got more tacticals so can we take the war bikes out come on yes lads now I don't know why the oh they've just got out of the um, okay so I think they've got little chance of taking these guys out but they might have a better chance of taking out these scorchers so yeah this is their first round isn't it so it's because they've just jumped out of the out of chimeras that they've only got one shot which could be could be problematic for us. and they are super close these these war bikes and stuff are going to just get in and eat us up in hand to hand combat I think can we take out let's try and take out this um, this wall okay, nice. this wall might take out um, these guys if we can collapse the wall down on those orcs we might be able to take the orcs like, with it well, I said these fuck guns are not much use really I'm going to say that, they've killed a couple of people today, haven't they? But, I mean, compared to things like the Basilisk or the... Ah, um... oh, there we go! So, I'll take it all back, lads. I'll take it, I'll take it all back, fuck guns. Okay, so now comes the problem. All of those, all of those heavy tanks are just going to steam in and blow the crap out of us now. Especially these heavy, so these are battle cannons, I believe. Let's see, there we go. There's one. And he's in hand to hand combat. No, they're so close. If they get in hand to hand combat, they'll just flaming the crap out of us. Can we survive? No. This is this is this is this is this is devastating. This this is gonna be the end. Thank God none of us none of us none of them broke. Um, we have to fight back now. Commissar. Okay, so we want... We 
need the tacticals to take out these war bikes as they've got no chance of taking out the now look we see we don't want to go into hand-to-hand -hand combat yeah. see they will not they will not make it so we want to use all of our tacticals on these guys and then try and save the heavy weapons for the rest um, okay so multi laser multi laser so using all of the light weapons on on the war bikes and it seems like the war bikes are dealt with so maybe the multi laser yes see the multi laser is, is not very good so the, these um, might have a small chance of getting through the armor of these scorchers nice Commissar. And what we don't want to do is we don't want to go into hand-to-hand -hand combat with these scorchers sure. So you notice that some of these guys, if it goes red like this, that means if I click that, he'll go into hand to hand combat, and you know that that scorch is just going to rip him apart. So we're going to shoot out of combat into Sir. into these guys. Nice. Sir. Come on, guys. You know, they've got Scorcher, you know, heroes of the Imperium, they've got that Scorcher bearing down on them. Yet they fire out of hand-to-hand -hand combat, trying to protect their comrades. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm going to use the FUD guns on this guy, even though he's got pretty much zero chance of getting through the armour. See, that's two hits so far, no, no armour penetration. Again, three hits has not got through the armor. So you see why these uh, fug guns are not my favorite. Okay, we've got this multi laser now. Again, the multi laser has almost zero chance of getting through the armor. Okay. Maybe we'll go into hand-to-hand -hand combat. Go, Commissar! Yes! <laughs> Exciting, right? <mate. laughs> so yeah, so the Commissar is uh, loaded up yeah. with uh, pistols and swords. So he's pretty much the only guy who would have stood a chance against that. So what? What a hero of the Imperium! I don't want to fire my bombards into really um, let's go for these guys and try and get them to break because I think those scorchers will break well, fingers crossed the scorchers will break we've killed enough of them I think for a good chance that they'll run so the biggest danger now I think is these uh, gold smashers if we're lucky, we might take one out there. So that's potentially six shots now in our tanks. So they could wipe out our chimeras and stuff now. Sir. Can these guys make it into hand to hand combat with this? If they can. Yeah, let's try! These guys got pistols and swords as well. Yes! Come on, lads. Charge it in. As as the heavy weapons and the tacticals man, the Mor the Mordian command squad armed with their pistols and <laughs> chainsaws leap over, leap get us to get away boys, stand back. Yeah, so you see why I get excited about this. Alright, so that, that bring that leaves these Mordian tacticals a chance to shoot but like I said no chance really yeah so I thought the scorchers would run but it's these gob smashers now that we really need to run because again it's a narrative campaign we want to get we want to take as few casualties as possible of course it's a 
that we don't have to repair them. I think these gob smashers are going to tear apart our tanks now. So yeah, we, we might lose all of our chimeras. There we go. All chimeras are lost. So that's, an exp that's expensive. Right, I'm gonna try hand swing combat <laughs> again in honor in honor of the dead chimeras. Yes, <laughs> get in there, man. Right, let's use let's use our bombards on this furthest one. Let's see if I can take it out. And then we can concentrate all firepower on that remaining one. Oh no, don't use the bloody last gun on the use the last gun on the on the orcs, you fool. Okay, so we use the Amazon. No. Okay, we'll use the last gun on the infantry. Yes. Amazon. Okay, so that's another unit lost to scroll. Can we take these orcs out as well? Take the last two out. Amazon. Mordian heavies, we want to be using on this. Yes! Amazon. They'll be running. The dogs will be running soon. Sir. But we did lose. Was it? I shouldn't, you know, it's the, but the battle's Amazon. not over yet. Bouncing off the hole, but we really do need to take this these last gob smashers out. Sir. Although saying that, we have lost we have lost our tanks, right? So they were the biggest the Sir. biggest worry was those gob smashers hitting the tanks, and that's a foregone conclusion. We lost we lost Amazon. all the Chimeras, so. You know, they're not that much of a danger to the infantry. Or not as much of a danger to the infantry. Amazon. So really now we are just Amazon. fighting to save as many lives as we can before the orcs run. We've still got those bombards, so okay. So hopefully the bombards can take out this last remaining one. See, there was a hit. Didn't go for the armor. Yes! They're finished. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, so it seemed like they still had. Um, still had some war bikes then. Amazon. Excellent, right. So that's the end now, man. We don't want to do anything else. There's no Come point aside. continuing on. If we continue, the orcs can still shoot us. Because <laughs> if they got any Overwatch fire, so we're just putting lives in danger to continue. So let's survey the battlefield, though. Now we've t we took a heavy, heavy loss. We lost all of our tanks. We lost our Rhino. We lost all of our Chimeras. But look at look at what the uh, what the sacrifice gained. All of these scorchers, all of these war bikes. So their sacrifice was not in vain, was it? Look, the the field is littered with orc dead. Yeah, so we're gonna need to. Commander, we have something you should see. This is Sergeant Matthias of the Mordian Iron Guard. We are currently over the Methuselah Quadrant of Hive City, Polvania's external factory plateau. I've been observing a great deal of Orc Mech Boy activity at this location. I thought it best you knew at once. I fear the Orcs may have discovered the factory site belonging to the Molistan Mines. Orc hands that could supply them with tanks and young We act now. Cool. So, so yes, yeah, so it means they've got a factory somewhere. I might have to replay that video back. But I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean just look at those cutscenes. 
that like Mordian captain. He looks like a Mordian captain, doesn't he? Like you'd imagine. If it was now, it'd all be CG, wouldn't it? You can't like lose yourself in CG as much, can you? When I watch CG, I always think you can see it's fake, right? But when you got like a real actor there, and, like in the Mordian gear, I mean, it's just it excites me. <laughs> but yeah, so let's let's see the next cutscene. Can't wait. Hopefully, there's not an orc counter attack. Okay, so that just confirms what the uh, Mordian guy said, right? That there was um, potentially. Um, a factory, right? So let's call it there, chaps. So um, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, all of that YouTube stuff. If you do like the channel, why not check me out on Patreon and you can get yourself a nice painted bottle by me or, or more. And don't forget to check me out on Twitch as well, where I do like live painting and such. And until next time, brothers, may the Emperor protect you through Noble's Blood.